Hey everybody, I had this excellent stream yesterday and I played a bunch of different decks, but one of the decks I played was uh, Weather Monster. I know, Weather Monster is like the boring, most generic thing in the world, but the whole goal here was to punish Scoia'tael players. I don't have any problems with Scoia'tael right now other than the Milva Roach thing. I think the Milva Roach thing should get, they should get rid of that, or they should at least, I think they should change it so that Milva goes off and then Roach uh, comes onto the board so that it doesn't get bounced back into their hand. You don't need to make Roach uh, relentless, but that would also work. And have a fairly the same effect. So why do I not have any issues with playing Weather Monster? I know it's a generic deck and I usually play exciting ones. This is a deck I just made out of scratch. What do I think a Weather Monster deck looks in the current patch? This is what I thought they looked like. And it's as close as I could get to it. Uh, so Weather Monster used to be the deck I considered for noobs way, way back in December of 2016. I thought if you were playing this, you just, you were new to the game or you weren't very creative. No, and I groaned every time I had to play against it. Even if it wasn't the best deck out there, if you just drew poorly and didn't have a first light or answer to weather, it just felt bad. I can understand now why people feel bad when they get scorched over and over and over and over again. But since I've been there and done that, I don't really mind getting scorched myself. Knowing how to play around scorch is important. I'm not the best person to play around Scorch because I don't always think about how these cards line up in their power values. When I was playing this deck against Scoia'tael Unranked, I didn't lose. And I think it has a lot to do with me understanding how Scoia'tael thinks and the fact that Weather Monster actually has a strange effect on how uh, Scoia'tael has to play, especially if it has some hybrid effects with the Ekimaras. One of the reasons why Monster Period has a benefit against Scoia'tael is that their passive negates card advantage that your opponent might get. Since, let's say you win a round, you can just pass with the monster that you have on the board, especially if it has a lot of points, and your opponent usually can't beat it with just one card. So, Especially if you put down a series and then you have two cards on the board and your opponent has to get above, above both of them. You can negate their card advantage so huge that way. Uh, yeah. So let's, without further ado, let's watch some of those ranked games. I hope you guys enjoy. Make a dwarf to get you to a tight spot. You shall die, worm. You shall die. Mm. Good old Scoia'tael. You can always trust Scoia'tael to pop up. And we don't need you then. Vampire's gonna be great. We don't need both Dimerium Shackles. Uh, we'll push out the Marigold Hailstorm or the Shrooms. I'll push out the Shrooms. Okay, thank you, uh, on instinct. Nothing like it. My opponent gonna play to operator. Sport. What is he gonna play? Okay. Blood of the head. If my opponent pay, plays anything less than eight, um, a certain amount of strength, we're gonna pass. They're gonna pass now. If my opponent is wants to win, they have to play another card. There's no two ambush cards that you can play that can get over eight strength. So they can win and loot. This is probably a uh, uh, a key run. And this is probably a, um, maybe a Shiru. That's what I'm guessing. If it's a Shiru, then they're oh, gonna. Oh, those 
Okay, he's gonna win the round. Probably pass here. Maybe he has to play another card. The storm is coming. Let's enjoy this the weather. This will trigger the Shiro. Can. Oh, it didn't trigger the Shiro, so it must have been Teruvial and. Uh, I'm confused. What are the face down cards? <laughs> Maybe a, a, a fireball trap. I still gotta keep my card. I just have to unlock it the old-fashioned way. Yeah, my opponent's gonna make me go first. So we're gonna start off by unlocking my locked card. Got business for me. Okay, we're gonna now move into uh, Wild Hunt Rider. No. We'll do uh camp here. That way we don't have to deal with that. Yes, the Kathampir is the Nithral is now I strength. hate you! Curse you, Dwan! Okay. Now we're going to get the range row all scuttled up. We're going to play then the Wild Hunt Riders. We should clear the board. We're going to clear skies. That's fine. We still have lots of weather effects left in our deck. Our opponent seems to be playing a long game, which is fine with me. We do not want to play the last weather card if we can help it. Have strength, my love. Okay. We're going to now move the Milena into the uh, Cedra. Remove it then with the Wild Hunt Riders into Aridon. I know that, mm, we don't have an option to keep Nithral into the final round anymore. Drink this, you'll feel okay, better. Another weather effect, another clear uh, clear skies. Okay. Well, then we do Marigold Hailstorm. Torrential Rain. Can, um, Immolareth hit a... Hold you? No, can't. So we're going to now pass. We get to keep a 7th strength unit on the board. Hopefully we don't draw into a Wild Hunt Rider, but it could happen. Okay. We have two card advantage over our opponent. We still have all of our Wild Hunt Riders. So we're going to start off with Wild Hunt Rider, so that we don't pull it with King of Beggars. We're expecting a villain Tretton Mare, perhaps. Okay, what's this gonna pull? Uh, Teruvial. It's probably Teruvial. Can't be Shiro. Uh, we're going to now pull a rally effect. We do not have any more weather cards. We're going to put this into the uh, Cedro. And we're going to eat one of the riders. We're not going to put this row. Oh no. Maybe I should put it in the range row. Blood and neck and yeah. Vat. Okay. We're now going Don't to pull another card. Got it. We're gonna eat that. Why? Because if we put it into the, um, we want to make sure that we're none of our rows are in range of death. for ah. a. Uh, ah. 
Okay. Oh, mm-hmm. Okay, and we're going to put this down. Here. Uh, if I must. Opponent now cannot play spells. Should be great. <laughs> Take that, Scoito. Oh, I got I leveled up. Daily rewards. Okay. Oh, did I even thank the guy? I don't know. When I'm salty, I try to good game people. So that you know you just want to get away from that end game screen as quickly as possible because you're salty. I'm human too, I can Okay, so uh we can push out a wild hunt rider. As we have it through King of Beggars. Okay. Uh we might want to have a Dimarine Shackle. Weather's gonna be extremely important in this matchup. Uh, I'm gonna keep the Dharma Room Shackles. Nithral, yay, Nithral. I need your heart! Yield and save me some time! I think I'm gonna go to the traditional uh, Siri Aridin opener. Seems the safest. For Brad! Okay. So if our opponent doesn't put um, six points, seven points onto the board, we can just pass and not worry it one little bit. Keep together. Okay. We're no longer worried about uh, all of this. Okay, and we pass. This way we get two card advantage. I'm well, three card advantage really. We we play the Siri first, so we're not really at all worried about. Um, <laughs> like it'd be very hard for our opponent to win on this round. So if they don't play anything, we just pass, which is the Twist benefit that! of monster passive. Okay, and now we can just play this. Don't run escapes. Got it. Then our deck. To oh, move oh, move. Move. Our opponent could just pass. Probably be for the best. You best yield now. Oh, that's a that's an annoying card. Modern Freyr is patient, but she brooks no insult. Okay. We do not want to kill Yennefer, so we have to be careful about that. We need to start uh, consuming cards. 
stacking things onto our uh, Ekimara to finish this round out. We already have way too many points on the board for his leader ability. So we have to pay attention to that. So I'm going to start consuming. Here we're going to probably, we could play the uh, Water Hag. We lose three strength into the next round, and I think that's safer. Yeah, because we're not, we're not expecting to, um, we don't care about carrying points onto the next round as much. Uh, we could steal the bear, or we could steal Yennefer. There's logic to both, right? We don't want them reviving Yennefer. So I'm thinking of stealing Yennefer instead of the bear. Personally. Because uh, I see that as their uh, win condition. Uh, that or the bear, that or the bear. Because I have so much weather cards, it is it does make sense to revive the bear. And anyways, they could revive the myth of rock. So we'll just take the bear. You're right. The bear makes sense. What do you need? There'll be nothing to pick up when I'm okay, done with and you. And then we're going to weather the rain throw. It's going to chew on the bear. Yeah. If I were my opponent, I wouldn't have revived the... Um, I would have revived Mithabrock. But... Each their own, you know? Okay. Now we're going to get rid of the Siege Row so that he doesn't have a uh, source of da, da, da. constant damage to us. Now, if they use Resurrect, we can just use Shrooms to get rid of it again. We're already going to weather the uh, Range Row with Aromancy, so we're not worried about that. To arms! All of you! Enough. Uh, I guess we could just pass. They're not gonna win. Ugh. That's because my opponent decided to win the first round. If they wanted to not lose so badly, they shouldn't have attempted to win the first round. They play like Biting Frost, like, really early. We're getting, we're catching up back to where we were. I'm bad at pressing the, uh, good game button. You shall die, worm. Okay. We're up against a mirror. 
No, we're gonna push out the Wild Hunt Rider first. I think I'll push out an Ekimara. And then I'll push out a... Uh, man, no gold cards at all. We yeah, have one gold card. I think I'm gonna do the traditional let's get card advantage opener. We're up against a mirror, so we're expecting Mangonels maybe, or we're expecting a hybrid version of the deck. Either way, I'm happy. Oh ho, I sense trouble. King of Beggars is great because it prevents you from getting completely crushed by certain cards. If anyone asks, okay. you've not seen me. Okay. If they play the 11 strength card, that's one way they could catch up on board. We can just Azure double cross at that point. Okay. Um, we don't want that. One of the night best things that we can you can do is just revive the reveal card. Praise be to the great okay. sun. Huh. Okay, we're going to now pull in Mithril. I know this brings me in rain. Ooh. Oh, I didn't think about how that those cards would uh, interact. <laughs> That's bad. I'll probably eat. Uh, I have to eat Aridin. Or I'll have to eat Nithril. Depends on what my opponent does. If my opponent has Igni in their hands, then uh, Nithril's. This is bad. I didn't think about how that worked. I shall be your eyes, my lord. Okay. When playing against. Okay, we're gonna eat that. We don't want him trees in. Shield and save me some time. Okay. I'm gonna pass. If they have Igni, they have Igni. They're gonna get two card advantage out of this, but I get 18 strength onto the board. I didn't get any value out of Aridin, but I'm not, I mean Nithral, but I'm not too upset. It just ended up being the uh, ordering of who plays which card when. That up messed this up. If my opponent plays to win this round, that's actually a problem for them. Because <laughs> then I start getting card advantage. Okay. Now I have two card advantage. And card advantage is most important in this weather matchup. Okay. That is a mistake in my opinion. Because you're just trading a well, you're trading a bronze for a gold, so I guess it's not a bad trade, but I think you could get more value out of diamond ring shackles if you are more patient. Okay. I lose the car. Uh, okay. Uh, as long as I don't get two of those, I'm happy. So, we're going to assume our opponent. Um, what should we do? Patience is not a virtue I am known to have. Okay. I'm gonna play this. <laughs> Our opponent's probably gonna pass. If I were them, I would pass. Quite the menial task. I need to kill my. Uh, he's gonna kill the um, roach. I'll draw me a card. No, it's going to throw a card into my hand. 
Death, foil intruders. I knew you, you would ask for this. Okay. Forget what that does. Oh, he reveals cards. Okay, he's just maximizing his reveal. I'm still way ahead. I don't know what the last two cards are in their uh, my opponent's hand are though. I'm gonna take a risk and assume my opponent does not have Geralt Igni. If they have Geralt Igni, then I'm screwed. A shame I have no time. Please wait, Your Excellency. I'm oh, falling behind. The evil ass. Okay, that was greetings. What is it? Hey. Might, there might be an argument not to... <laughs> I'm going to keep a 20 strength unit on to the next round. Maybe I should have put it into... Uh, well, I don't have to worry about it. Yeah. My opponent played way too long into that round. I'm going to win with that... Oh, I could have won with the spores. But I assumed I was going to win with the weather instead. My opponent only has two cards in their hand. There's no way they can play around my weather. Because I have four cards in my hand. So, I'm obviously going to... Okay, my opponent's fast. Yeah, the spores just was too powerful for my opponent. If they had Geralt Igni, it would have been a little bit more difficult, but I would have still had a 10 strength unit on the board going to the net last round. They decided to flip who was going... Like, I think they could have won that game if they had just lost the first round. That's all they needed to do. Okay. Yarg. Bahakam wasn't built in a day. You might not know this, but Monster is my Esther, least played class. Yeah, he would have had two card advantage, but he decided to instead just play out that. You can get a lot more than five Queen's Guard at once, by the way. You could get... You could get, uh... Probably nine Queen's Guard if you wanted. With a decoy. Um... Milva. Operator. Necker Warrior. Johnny, stuff like that. So we're gonna push you out. We're gonna push you up. You up. Come on, there we go. So we're up against Scoytel. Scoytel is probably the most annoying class to play against. Okay. I'm expecting a scorch. Kind of expect it at this point. Use 
shall die worm. The nice thing is we won the Have coin strength, toss. My love. Okay. The storm is That's coming. One rally. Let's enjoy the weather That's while we still two. can. Come on, the storm three. is coming. Let's enjoy the weather while we oh, still Oh, this can. is the ideal scenario. My opponent must now make a decision between clear skies and rally. And if they choose wrongly, they lose the game. Okay, they chose wisely. Yeah. That was that was good on my opponent to do that have the forethought to do that. I never miss. Mm. Actually, that's been a... Well, if he's going to Scorch again. Which my opponent's probably going to do. They no longer... He can no longer play Clear Weather, except with Aglius. Aglius. Slaughter them to a man! We're now going to play Aromancy into Impenetrable Fog. We're going to keep it with Impenetrable Fog. Because we can always uh, do non weather effects to get rid of the. We don't have to even um, eliminate this row if we wanted to. Because it's not a big deal. The Elven Mercenary row can't be lifted, so we're not worried about that. We're not expecting any more weather. get rid of all these spells. No, no eat Aridin with this. That's the one rule. We're expecting a Scorch. So we have to play around that. And make a dwarf to get you to a tight spot. This war. Who taught you to fight like this? Lie still. Thanks for getting get this. Oh, that was what was going to happen. Ah, that was. Clever. Well. We want to have something that goes on to the next round, that's why. Yeah, I should have paid more attention to the uh, strength that I had on my board. I would have been able to avoid uh, the Scorch effect. Uh, well, if I do that, I lose. To I'm going to get rid of this. I know it seems wrong, but I would rather force my opponent to play things than lose to, like... It's really hard to choose whether or not it would have been better to... Well, he doesn't have an Aglius anymore, so he can't remove any weather. 
It's great for certain things. Okay. Now I can play Siri and pass. It's gonna um, not use the faction ability. You talked enough. Okay. I never miss. Okay, well, we're gonna just pass. Should we pass? We wanna, we wanna. So, how are things? Slaughter them to a man! Yeah. My opponent's getting lucky with their draws. Uh, I don't have any cards that I want to pull with the... But I can King of Beggars into... I can steal his King of Beggars next round. Hmm... We're pulling in um, slightly less card advantage, but they don't have another way to clear out all the weather, so. Uh, and we know that we're going to get. We know we're gonna get water hag, so. Yield and save me some time. So we know that we can use the weather against them. No mercy. Another option is to um, delete Isengrim. But... What card is my opponent gonna play? They can't play Aglius anymore, and they have no way of pulling a uh, clear skies from their deck. So that's what we have to play around. We're not going to play any more spells, so Shiro is worthless in this matchup. I shall not fail. Okay. Who do I spy? No one escapes. Got it? <laughs> King of Beggars into King of Beggars into Water Hag. <laughs> uh. None shall tread on us. Uh, oh, it's a uh, decoy. That's cute. Okay, well. Too bad. None shall tread on us. Too bad, my friend. That that donkey gotta go. <laughs> Take that, Squirtle. Don't you fret about me. Take oh. care of myself. Yeah, that was a, a, a hail mary, really. No, actually, that's beneficial to my opponent because they could. Well, it's not that beneficial because it's better than not having the seven strength onto the board. I shall not fail. Yeah, well, I have to pass. So, what is his last? My opponent's last card. I know it's been buffed by Dragoon at least once or twice. Oh, uh, what? Okay. Now we will see who I win. 
Uh, take that, Squirtle. Yeah. Yeah, you can get a lot more than five things, guy, if you uh, did a custom game. Now, I got up to my, oh, back to rank 14, 